this is such an overdue video like so overdue <laughs> hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to do an empties video and i know it's late all my videos are late because i took a week off <laughs> i just had to i was so tired and most of the week we wasn't home anyway and no excuses let's just jump into my may empties and i have a lot and I'm excited about these empties because yeah I'm just excited <laughs> so let me show you them from the makeup and then skincare and stuff like that oh my god there's powder everywhere <laughs> can you see no I can't as you may know I have my makeup empties in the small bag to separate them in the basket I find that it works okay I think it works. So, I don't know if these are makeup empties, but I have two sponges from BS Cosmetics. I love these ones. These are the Pro sponge, I believe. They're really cheap and they work amazingly. I really like the Real Techniques one and I think they are comparable and they are cheaper. And I buy them off Beauty Bay and I buy them heaps at a time because I never buy online. So, I really, really like these and I have been using these since uh, late last year and one of them in the beginning of the year so they needed to change because they, they are they are hard and I can't clean them enough anymore and they are kind of rough so they're going bye bye okay the one that is mm, doing a mess everywhere <sighs> let's just take that one <laughs> I'm really excited about this one because I have been working on this like solid from January 1st. <laughs> this is the W7 Flawless Face Loose Powder that I have in my whole collection project pan. And I was getting to the point that I couldn't get any more out of it because you can't, of course there's powder in it now, but you can't get this off. It is just one big plastic thing. So I saw Alejandra, Alex, she pulled the back of hers of the Maybelline Fit Me powder and I noticed these uh, rings through this sticker thing um, and I was like maybe that is how I should get into the powder and it was. It took some effort but these are the like closure. The, yeah, it's full of cat hair. It's really disgusting. This powder had four different colors and it was like a green, a pink, a blue, and a purple. And together they created this translucent color correcting kind of powder. And I really, really liked it because I was panning a too dark of a foundation and I mixed it. But it wasn't the right shade anyway. But this powder really color corrected the foundation. So I really liked that. I don't know if that is entirely true. But I felt like it and I went through the foundation too actually. Um, and I finished this one and it worked out pretty nicely. I don't have any more loose powders in my collection so that is really exciting. I haven't had that for like four years now. So it's a kind of a sad moment but I'm also really excited to try new powders. The next one is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I have not taken the stopper out or anything so there will be a little bit left in the on the bottom but I do love this concealer and I wish it was cruelty free. L let me tell you it's not expensive expensive but for a cheap person like me this is a lot of money but it is totally worth it because you don't need a lot and it would last you forever and a day. So, this is really amazing, but I wouldn't buy it again, just because it's cruelty free. It is a drier, but thicker consistency. Um, so, if you have really dry on your eyes or something like that, it wouldn't really work. But I have kind of dry on the eyes, and I like it. So, hmm. some people said it, and some people don't. I do said it, but I do know a people, some people that don't. My favorite mascara, the Noble Nordic Hayfronts mascara. I have another one going right now and I'm really excited about it and I love this one and I will always buy it again. Yeah, I love it. Danish brand, Danish influencer, created her own makeup brand. Finished two cream shadows this month. I'm really excited about it and uh, kind of on the same day because I couldn't get enough for one eye and then or two eyes, I, I mean, so I just mix them and they create an eye look. So, I have the NYX Lingerie Eye Tint in Golden Standard, or Gold Standard? Gold Standard. 
It was a beautiful eyeshadow and I will definitely buy this again. I am working on the pink one right now and I really really like these. These are amazing. They they last on my eyes and I have oily eyelids. So yeah, I would definitely buy these again. These are amazing. I have had them for a, a year too much. So it kind of was, uh, it was really dry in the end. But I would get them again. They are really nice. I have... The W7 Eye Dream Shadow Cream in Cover Pot. Yes, this was one of my favorites. I had them for a little too long, so they were kind of dry in the end, but I did use this up and I'm really excited about it. I wouldn't buy this again. I would just stick to the NYX one because I like that a little bit better than this one. The Essence Make Me Brow Brow Gel, a classic fave. I would buy this again. I am trying to use something else now. I wanted to have a break from this um, but this is really really nice. The brush is amazing and small and I think the color is really nice. I have mine in dark brown. Brownie brows. The darker one. They also have a light one so if you want to color correct your brows a little bit to make them lighter or darker these are really really nice and they do hold on your hairs um, if you need a little bit. I wouldn't say they are like stiff or something like the some other brow mascaras but this one is really really nice and for the money it's quite good. So I would buy this again in a heartbeat. The last makeup product that I am going to talk about is my foundation from W7. This is the Face Fantasy Matte Foundation in Buff. This was my mixer for the darker foundations and I have bought this again because this is more affordable, like half price of a mixer from a makeup brand. And I do like this because it has a matte finish and it has a decent coverage, but not it's not heavy on the skin. So I think this is a really, really great mixer. And again, I have bought it again for the darker foundations because I apparently I can't get it done. I really, really like this foundation. Um, bought it again, obviously. Cotton rounds. I am using the reusable cut rounds, cotton rounds for my eye makeup. I bought them again for my nail polish because I don't think nail polish is that good in the drain. So I'm just going to buy these for my nail polish only and because I use makeup of more often than nail polish, I just use the reusable for those and I think that is a great midway until we can find a solution for the cotton rounds for nail polish that is not really bad for the environment so it's like a semi semi thing nail polish is not that good for the environment but using a lot of cotton rounds isn't either so yeah why does these have an expiry date like they expire in like 2029 why does it have that on it? It's cotton. For God's sake, it don't go bad. Why? Okay, for some skincare, I have the Body Shop Aloe Calm Sheet Mask. This one right here, I pulled the top off, obviously. But I used the sheet mask that was in it. It was okay, I just laid down and saw some YouTube while it was lingering on my face and then there was some serum in it and I could have used it again but I don't like sheet mask so I just used the serum kind of thing a few nights after and yeah I used it up in like three nights <laughs> but yeah I wouldn't buy a sheet mask but I did like the effect and my skin was really really nice that weekend so I'm excited about this. I have the Skin, Skin Academy Pure Cleansing My life. I'm sorry. Oh my god, that was a big, big disaster. Oh my god. Felix jumped on my bedside table and because it's not really stable, um, he flipped it all over so everything came down including a lamp and everything um, And it's right in front of me. I'm like, oh my god, my lamp is fine For some reason. Yeah, I know 
I know it's good. Jeg ved det godt. So, <laughs> let's just continue. <laughs> Shall we? So he's just laying on the floor now. The Skin Academy Pure Cleansing Facial Scrub. I... <laughs> I, I just yelled at you. I'm really sorry. Um, but yes, this is uh, for sensitive skin, fragrance-free and paraben-free. I use this in the shower only. So like once or twice a week. Like you, you can't exfoliate more often than that. And it is exfoliating without it being really harsh on your skin because the scrubby bits are not really big. So this is really, really nice and I do think it is working. And if my skin is rough, use this and it is so nice with like a mask on top afterwards. Felix is gone. That was traumatic. <laughs> I have a sleeping mask and I'm really sad about this because I can't find it in stores anymore. This is the Pure and Care Honey Sleepy Mask. This is amazing and it was on the last leg. It was like a spa night for me. I used a clay mask and a scrub mask in the shower and then I was like I need something hydrating for my skin and I used this one and it was the last use and it was it was not like it used to be so it was on the last leg so I'm really happy that I finished it off you just put something on and slept with it and that is my preferred moisturizing uh, mask type of way so I would buy this again if I can find it I have the aloe right now and it's not as good it's not. I don't know if my skin doesn't like it. I'm rough down here and I do I do put my moisturizing mask on my neck, at least here. So I don't know if that's that, but I do miss this <laughs> a lot. I have my Matas Pomegranate Hand Cream. I'm really excited to have this done because I have been holding on for this for so long. This is amazing and I will forever buy it again, but... I'm going to use up my hand creams first before I buy this again because I have a lot. And this is just amazing. It is moisturizing and the pomegranate scent is so good. So, so, so good. I don't know, yeah, it does have a perfu perfume in it and it is like halfway through the ingredients list. So I'm going to wait to buy this again anyway after I'm pregnant. So I don't know how good it is in my body lotion either, but it's it's done. It's not here anymore. I used it all up. I have my body oil and this is from Nux. Nux? Nux? I don't know. This brand right here. And it was a multi-purpose dry oil face, body and hair. I only use this on my tummy um, to prevent stretch mark. But I do think I am really lucky about that because I haven't gotten any yet. And I'm halfway and I actually don't think my money has some don't have any either and she had two kids so I just think I'm lucky gene genetically um, but I did use this on my belly and it was really really nice and I used it up and I don't have any more in my collection and I'm happy about it but I don't yeah I don't think Nux is cruelty free so I can't buy it again even though I really really enjoyed it the last thing that I'm going to talk about is my small sample body lotion thing or the Luxe size sample I should say it is the Juicy Pear Body Butter from the Body Shop. This was so nice. I think this was the Christmas edition this year. Oh, 2019, you know. But it is completely gone. It is the smaller size, the 50 milliliters one. I really like this. This was so nice. I was really surprised about the pear scent. And yeah, it was just a body butter. It worked out fine and I used them on my feet. And my feet are really great now, but it was horrible when I began to use this. So now I only use body butter on my feet. That is it. That is everything. My empties for May. I'm really excited about it because I had some great empties this month. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you want to see more empties for me, I have a whole playlist. And I think the yearly makeup empties in, is in that playlist as well, if you want to see that. Um, I do try to do them every single month. <laughs> They uh, sometimes they are late, but I really try to just film them every month to keep me organized that way. But let's see how I am with I, when I get my baby in October, how consistent I'm going to be with this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed and check out my channel if you haven't already. I do a lot of planning videos and stuff like that on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy that. And until my next one, please take care. Bye.